what is up you guys welcome back to the channel today i want to go through what camera bags i bring on tour what pelican case i bring on tour and what i actually bring to photograph an entire tour i leave for tour this weekend for a two-month round with panic of the disco on the viva Las vengeance tour and i am currently packing up everything so my office is a disaster i thought it would be a good time to kind of go through everything with you guys and show you what I pack in my bag, uh, kind of like an everyday carry on tour, tour photographer edition. So let's just dive right into it. First, we're going to go through my camera bag, then we will jump into my Pelican case. Also, before we jump into the camera review, please, you guys subscribe. There's a lot of you that watch these videos and you're not subscribed. So please, if you could, that'd be great. Thanks. Okay. All right. So the bag that I am using is the Wandered Provoke bag. I got this thing recently from downtown Portland at a shop called Pro Photo Supply. I am not sponsored, but this is by far one of the best camera bags I've ever used. And I'm going to dive into everything that is inside of it. So first up, there's this strap up here. It is magnetic, which is really, really convenient because when you're on the go, you don't want to deal with a bunch of zippers and straps. So this is really nice to be able to hand grab. Um, it's really easy to throw together real quick. And yeah, so you throw that open. First things first, I have my um, I have my Sony Bluetooth headphones in here. These are the XM5s, I believe, and they are best noise canceling headphones that I've ever used. So then we're going to open the back of the bag, which contains most of the contents in this bag. So this is the core of the photography gear. So we're just going to dive into this first. Both these straps come back like that. The bag opens up huge like so. And then you have all of your camera gear right here, ready to go. I personally have two Pro Mist filters in here. Um, I have a Cine Bloom filter as well. Um, I have some camera chargers, my Canon AE-1, which is the camera that is currently filming this video. Here's a charger for that. Here is the Leica Q2 charger. Uh, right here are some extra batteries and chargers as well. This this charger is for uh, my Sony Handycam. Um, down here, is that just some extra space? I honestly am trying to keep my backpack as light as possible because of the Pelican case. The Pelican holds all the really, really heavy gear backpack hopefully holds more of the lighter stuff um here is the like a q2 this is the camera that i will be taking kind of like on days off on tour i'll be running around shooting stuff with this um so that is why i'm keeping this in my backpack and i will be keeping the sony a1 in my pelican case because i will be using the sony a1 for more of the show stuff more of the show photography this is going to be used for more of just like the running gun while i'm on an off day so there's that there's also a really cool side pouch right here in this bag that I didn't know about when I bought. See, look, I even stole the tag on it. It's a quick release kind of thing. So you open this up and then you can grab the camera from the side of the, the bag as well. Um, I just have some extra batteries in here. So I keep like four batteries for the A1 right there, just so they're easy to get to. And then a Leica Q2 battery as well. So then up top here, this is where you can actually store your laptop. So I have a, my 2018 MacBook pro in that slot right there that fits nicely perfectly the smaller bag i did want the smaller bag but it actually doesn't fit that laptop in the slot so i had to get the bigger one so this is the 31 liter my ipad pro fits nicely right in front of that so there are two laptop slots or ipad laptop two ipads whatever it may be whatever tablets you guys have they will fit in here nice and snug this first pocket right here these are my noise uh earplugs they're custom molded earplugs that i use during the show so this is kind of to help me not go deaf during concerts so these are a must need for music photographers if you guys don't have just regular earplugs if not the custom molded one no these are microsonic um and yeah i would get i would look into getting a custom pair of earplugs if you are a live music photographer in this pocket right here i just have a bunch of cleaning wipes so a bunch of these zeiss i don't know these are just regular lens wipes i got these off of amazon i just have a massive box of them and they come in handy so i just keep them right there tucked away um in this pocket right here i have a bunch of lens cleaners i don't know if you guys know this but using a mirrorless camera system your lens and sensor tend to get very, very dirty. So these are great to have with you at all times, just so you can clean your sensor on the go. So with the Sony A1 being a mirrorless camera, I definitely recommend having some sensor cleaners with you while you are out photographing. So that's all I have right there. Like I said, keep it light, keep it simple in the bag. Um, I'm gonna close this up and I will show you the rest of the pockets. One cool pocket is right at the top here. All I do is keep my laptop charger in there. I feel like that's a really good place for my laptop charger. It's somewhere that I can get to it really quickly and easily. On this side of the bag, I actually have my Gorilla Pod with different head mounts as well. So that fits in there. This is actually a water bottle pouch, but it has this nifty little clip up here which makes it perfect for putting a tripod in or a gorilla pod or whatever you might need to take on the road with you so that is why i have that right there um on top of the bag so it opens like a carrier bag which is really nice and it gives you a bunch of extra room like look this is gonna come all the way up to the camera and then you can look in there so inside here i have 
a backbone controller. So this is what I use on the go for gaming. So when I'm on the tour bus or when I'm flying from place to place, uh, I use this thing instead. I used to use my Nintendo Switch, but the Switch got a lot to lug around and this is just so much more tiny and compact and mobile gaming is next level nowadays. So I have that. Next up in here, I have just a journal. So this is a journal to keep notes on. Uh, I take a new one with me every single tour. This one is empty right now. And um, yeah, that's really important to me. Have a journal for everything. And the last but not least is this cool Orbit key, uh, kind of like a carrying case. So inside of it, I can open this for you. It's just like really organized random sh that I have. So I have a two terabyte SSD. I have my AirPods. I have an SD card reader, as well as a CF card reader, uh, a charger, some cords, some extra cash, as well as a wireless mic that plugs into my phone, which is really handy to have. If you plug in a USB-C here, it's actually a wireless charger for your phone. So that's kind of nifty to have. I saw it, I think on a Peter McKinnon video, which is really random, but yeah, this thing's great. So loading this back up, all this does is comes down and then you just fold this like so. Fold, 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 and then this straps right into there. And now you are good to go, you are set. That's kind of everything in my camera bag. There's not a lot, like I said, keep the bag, the camera bag as light as possible because your bags are gonna get really heavy and you're gonna be carrying them a lot of the time. So I try to keep everything as light as possible on my back. That way I can fit a lot more inside the Pelican case, especially with my injury and stuff. I can't really be looking around all the stuff that I wanna be looking around. So that's the camera bag. Let's jump over to the Pelican case. So here is the Pelican case that I use. This is the 1510 case. It's a perfect size for a carry-on case. It's really nice to put your gear in that you can't fit in your backpack or anything that's super heavy that you cannot carry because this has wheels. So you can use this and then this pops out towards you guys like so. And then you can carry it around and it rolls and it's a lot easier to use than it would be to carry all that stuff. So what's inside of it? Well, this case specifically has a bunch of really good organizers. I actually took out the organizers from my previous Pelican case, put it in here and it's the same size. So it fits perfectly. So what do I have in here? Um, this is my camcorder. This is a Sony Handycam. I love this thing. It is a high eight tape camera. And um, I take that with me on tour because it gives a different perspective to document and different perspective to shoot. I also have, this is probably the longest lasting piece of gear that I own. This is a fisheye that I can screw onto that camcorder. So if I want to get a fisheye view on this camcorder, I can just screw this thing onto it and it gets the job done. I believe that fish eyes by Optica. I don't even know if they're around anymore. This is a bunch of extension cords, a bunch of cords, converting cables. Um, I keep them in these pouches that I got from Tumi and then I just keep them inside of there and they go away. And they are pretty heavy actually. Cords add up after a while. So I keep them in there nice and snug. This is actually cleaning solution that you use for when you want to clean your sensor. So I keep this in here for when I want to clean the Canon or the Sony A1 or any other mirrorless camera. Um, I have a Rode microphone, always need good audio on the go. So I have this Rode microphone that plugs directly into the camera. My Sony 70 to 200 G Master. This lens is a monster. Right here is where this camera goes. This camera goes right there. So in this slot, this body, the Sony A1 fits perfectly. And then the lens goes right here. And the lens is a 24 to 70 G Master series. This lens body combination is probably the best lens body combination on the Sony market right now. It's pretty insane. Uh, you always need an air blower or whatever these things are called. I forget what they're called, but bring one of those. This is a little GoPro with a hot or cold shoe mount. So I can put this on my camera and get like a video of the photograph kind of thing. So this is cool for little short videos and just to have as like an extra piece of equipment to throw up a time-lapse or to throw somewhere. There's just... GoPros come in handy. I know they're kind of tacky nowadays, but they come in handy. I want a 361. GoPro if you're watching. Uh, here is a Sony 35 millimeter lens and a Sony flash. Uh, this flash, I don't really recommend Sony. We need to figure this out because this is too much money for what it is. So as you guys can see, all this fits nice and tucked inside of my bag. I have a camera strap right here, some extra tape right over here for the camcorder. And other than that, that's kind of everything in the Pelican. Locks away nice and easily. It's good to go. Some other random junk that I need to bring with me that I always just kind of shove away into my suitcase wherever it works is um, lens hoods. These are such a pain to pack because they don't actually fit into like a bag anywhere. So I just have to kind of figure out places for those as well as some extra cables. So I have like this charging cable. I have another Gorilla Pod that I'm gonna take with me. I have this like, it's a mag safe thing for the Gorilla Pod that goes on there. Um, I also have a couple lens cloths and things like that. So there's a bunch of random stuff that's just gonna go in a couple of those areas of the bag, but I think that gives you a good understanding 
understanding of what is in my bag when I go on tour. Thank you guys so much for watching and hopefully you learned a thing or two as to what you might want to take on your next photo adventure or photo tour maybe. Either way, if you guys have questions about any of the gear or if I left anything out and you guys have a question about do I bring this or do I bring that, please be sure to ask it down below. It's greatly appreciated. Thank you guys so much for liking, subscribing, commenting, all of it. Uh, this channel is growing and it's cool to watch it grow. So thank you guys for all your support and I will see you in the next video. Bye.